mysticism versus psychism. For our purposes here, mysticism refers to the search for oneness with God, while psychism refers to the myriad occult sciences involving the tarot, channeling, mediumship, and the like. It is not my purpose to judge, but to merely compare the advantages and disadvantages of both. Essentially, one is permanent and the other is temporary. Anything that directly involves God is most certainly long-lasting and of a higher mind. The other is temporary and originates in the personal ego will, that is to say within the other levels of the unconscious mind such as the personal subconscious, just below the conscious or surface level of the mind. It is the memory bank containing traumas, for example the psychic level or non-physical, and the collective unconscious wherein the symbology that mankind is born into exists, such as angels, demons, crosses, etc. Psychism does not originate from the deeper levels such as the soul level and of course the perfect mind at the center. Most psychic phenomena manifest in these other levels of the mind, enabling the psychic to access things such as the astral body of a dearly departed, so that mediumship may occur. Memories access from the personal subconscious, psychic energy, and collective unconscious levels enable the psychic medium or channeler to provide information from these levels since past, present, and future exist simultaneously, the one eternal moment. They may provide a weather forecast of sorts, either catching actual glimpses of the supposed future or trends towards them, taking numerous events and circumstances into account. Angels and spirit guides may appear to provide information, but they too originate from the unconscious mind, appearing to be before or beside someone. Since everything is comprised of God, everything is valid, including the information given. Caution must be taken, however, by the client or customer to ensure that the psychic has most of his or her personal issues resolved, or they will color the reading unconsciously. We will not dispute the gifts and authenticity of clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, nor the gift of mediumship nor channeling, merely the source through which it is originating from. In other words, the healthier the psychic, the healthier and accurate will be the reading. A mystic may have completely different motives, but may still possess psychic abilities. This is the best combination, that the mystic is on a quest for oneness with God, is also helping others to help themselves and to heal using his or her God-given abilities. Automatically, especially if they have been meditating for years, they will be channeling God to varying degrees, as opposed to the middlemen of angels and spirit guides. After all, why not go to the source instead of the middleman? A mystic will generally lead the client back to themselves, inward and to God for answers, as opposed to the temporary solutions offered through psychism. A mystic who does not have an extraordinary level of psychic ability will most certainly have his or her intuition or God guidance finely honed, which is a result of regular and ongoing meditation. Most of the information offered through psychism offer temporary solutions, while the solutions provided by a mystic are long-lasting. You be the judge and make your choices. In any case, God will not have you go too far wrong. Right here, right now, we become aware of this endless field of love energy in which we reside. We are one and the same with it, individualized expressions of the one which we are extensions of. As we breathe, so does love breathe. As we live, so does love live. As we laugh, create, contribute, multiply, so too does love laugh create, contribute, and multiply. Because love is omnipresent, omnipotent, omniscient, and is always expanding, so too are we expanding. For love needs us to expand and to create, to express, 
and to be all that it can be. We affirm and we declare right here and right now in this energy of love that we are already all that is great. We all are already all that is eternal and good because that is what we are allowing to be born through us as us. We are already perfection continually blossoming through us as us and it feels good. It feels great as above so below we give thanks for this word knowing that it is law and is already so in the mind of the universe we release the word in gratitude and appreciation letting it be so now and unto forevermore and so it is and so it is amen amen amen